Two. One. Who the fuck starts a countdown on two? Not me. Oh, that's what they heard. <laughs> at this point, I should just start at one, and then you'll just go. I should just I say wouldn't. go. Uh, yeah, you actually... Mm, well, the issue is... I don't know is, why. It doesn't I work I only like that. do that countdown because you asked me to, because you need that amount of time to, like, prepare yourself for the recording. Yet, that is clearly not true, since you always start it mid-countdown. <laughs> Yeah, but there's no there's no midpoint of a single syllable. Can't just say go. It doesn't work. I won't know when to start because it can't be exactly like go. when you want me to. No, it can't be. That's just <laughs> yeah, it's true. But surely doing it mid go, maybe slightly after go, because go is kind of just let's start now. You should do it then and not. Two, <laughs> like in in no universe, is anyone supposed to start? Like, well, if you start, it, a no, race no, 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 I don't think it does in any way, shape, or form. Welcome. They should have like a loop bug, like, car. Nice segue. Uh, <laughs> today on the podcast, uh, we are going to be talking about loop bugs. This is because they are ugly and I hate them. They're yeah, uggos. Stupid ass. <laughs> They're real uggos, uh, said Chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Child I want to step on every loot bug I see, um, and not in a kink way, in a in a I hate them kind of way. I um, wish you could stomp them. I want to be able to stomp things just as a I passive. I think that action. is what it's a bug thing is kind of meant to be. Like I think it's just supposed to be that if you just. I don't know. It's weird. It's a bug thing, and I assume we're going to be talking about this. I mean, I don't know. there's no real segue to start on. We're just going to start here. It's a bug thing. I can't tell if it was supposed to be for people that really fucking hate loot bugs um, and want them to die as soon as they get close to them, or it's for people that love loot bugs but know they have to kill them so they can like look away and have it like be put down without them like. It's like, for cowards. Um, it's for cruel cowards. Yeah, you don't and, have the balls to kill loot bugs. Yeah, I mean, I think um, this is like a while ago. I saw a post on this, and uh, or like, I think it was one of our videos. I, I think it was the perk one. So this is a very long time ago, and that um, oh, what? you know, a, I think what? my father uses like a perk tier list. Harry. Oh my good uh, god! <laughs> yeah, and I think a, a that father was at least uses five uh, years ago. <laughs> yeah, see you in hell. Not see you in hell, buddy. Uh, <laughs> it's a bug thing to like kill loot bugs while their child is like in the room or playing with him, basically. Um, so because I guess she, I don't think the child likes seeing him kill the loot bugs. That child so should that on. should um, have to watch that. He yeah. should. He's just like it is like peg his eyes open. Like it you know, is. Like... It is interesting that you know it, it, there is a line drawn there, right? Killing all the other bugs. That's good. Do that. But like loot bugs were specifically designed for you to feel slightly guilty about it, because um, they're like slightly more cute. Um, like, it is like how e um, rather than an alien. Well, no, it's just like movie alien. logic, but we can we're okay with seeing as many humans get killed. It, it just infinite amounts, um, except yeah. unless it's children or pets. No one likes seeing dogs get yeah. killed, and obviously you don't have children shown. Being killed, I don't think you have that anywhere, but in like in official, in like actual TV and film, I I just don't think it exists. It just doesn't really happen. So even that, so obviously that's even greater taboo. But people, you know, dogs that upsets people. Um, I suppose you know a lot of people can't watch I Am Legend. I don't know what would happen if we replaced the um the dog with a loot bug in I Am Legend. Um, I I think um I think a lot of people would cry like um. Uh... I am legend made me in the middle of our fucking class, which I didn't appreciate. Did it? Uh, yeah. 
What an L. What now? What an what L. What's it now? What an oh. L. <laughs> I cried at I cried at uh, the end of uh, Mice and Men, uh, and we watched that in class as well. Really? Uh, yeah. I'm a soppy twat. No, but just a dog dying alone. I feel like anyone. I feel like just that inherently being enough isn't. That's quite shallow. Well, that really wasn't. Just the, I mean, I, I'm not necessarily talking about you, moment. by the way. I just mean in general. If it's just the fact that the dog died makes you cry, that's not because that's not inherently effective. That's just the fact that you don't like dogs dying. It's not actually the film mm. actually doing a good job at making you feel something. It's just you can't handle the concept. Much like some people can't handle the concept of loot bugs dying. I can, though. I can. Yeah. Even though I think I mean, they're kind of cute. If you've been on the Reddit of around the time that this was... Actually, it's kind of died down now. But there was a debate. Um, let's put it There's as... Some bait, even. <laughs> of whether or not you should kill loot bugs. We refused to indulge it in the normal regard that we did for other ones mainly because this is in no way a percentage of anything that is of worth um in uh, like, an actual uh, debate in, that is yeah um but as far as talking about loot bugs as a whole it's kind of relevant right now so i think we're we're, we're gonna do it um and obviously yeah uh, loot bugs being a slightly remorseful kill is part of the game right like it, it was a decision they made to make loot bugs cute, uh, really yeah. pretend, like, make them as cute yes. as they could <laughs> within reason, um, and then and then like, you could even you know the dwarves have voice lines um, regretting it. Um, but it's like it's like a, a mix, isn't there? There's some of them that are like, oh, I regret doing that. Like I regret that I have to do that. And then others that are like, well, it's on your. You shouldn't have eaten the mi- minerals, really. Like, you know, that kind of thing. But that's still an expression so, of regret. It's just like that's why I did it. it you didn't. Yeah. Like, I don't want to kill you. I just you want to get the, the precious minerals. minerals. I, I wouldn't have to get you killed. A cax in your um, ass. Oh. Um, <laughs> The loot, bug, yeah. the loot bug plushie yeah. does have a, a suspicious zipper. Um, oh. where the, the, uh, like the, all the minerals are stored. It's, it's pretty weird when you think about it, if you've ever seen the loot bug plushie. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't own a loot bug plushie. Um, no, not me. No, sir. <laughs> it's just, oh, yeah. no, but you see, the thing is, you're right. They definitely made them cute on purpose. It's like this... I don't know how to describe it because it's not them trying to be cruel, as in it's not Ghost Ship trying to be cruel to people, but it is some kind of like cruel, like twisted, comedic aspect of the game. Um, yeah, where you're supposed to kill these things, but you you are meant to sort of feel bad about it, but not but in a way that you should take bugs. seriously. Yeah, but loot bugs—they aren't even like a required kill, right? You will probably have enough nitro in an all mission. They are when a dozen of them grouped up, and I've got a good. Yeah, well, that's the thing. That's really what it comes down to: is that killing like tons of glyphids, you feel that you know self defense and all that argument, but you are actively killing that loot bug uh, for your own personal gain um, to make the mission slightly easier to and to get some more gold. Right? It is a decision on the player's behalf to slay this creature. Uh, this passive, cute little thing, and that's why they're pretty fucking funny that they're in the game. Um, if you want to make like a genuine, like objective moral evaluation of the situation, it is quite evil to kill loot bugs in comparison to everything else. I mean, it, yeah. there is the, just the whole debate that you know. Obviously, well, we know that the the, the company DRG is is a corrupt company, and they are we are invading Hoxies. Um, yeah, but it is you, if you if you can get past that. Um, obviously, the the, the glyphids and whatnot are all trying to kill you, <laughs> but but loot bugs certainly are not. Um, yeah, and that's the, uh, the, the thing is, and I think that is something though. The loot bugs aren't the only enemies that um, you don't need to kill, therefore shouldn't, and therefore you should feel guilty about, right? Stegosaurus, cave angels, niffers, right? They're all like enemies that. You have no reason to kill at all. Um, Cave cruisers. And I, and yeah, I feel bad when I kill even more so. Um, 
Like, they are literally, they give you zero value in killing them. Um, so, but they, well, they don't play up the guilt part. Like, when you kill one of them... can get in the way sometimes. Like, if you kill a cave ranger or anything like that, your, your dwarf doesn't normally, like, express remorse, does it? I, I don't think even killing a cave ranger... Which yeah, I cave ranger, they, they, no, 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 they say things like, I feel like I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> right. <laughs> because I feel like it does feel like a sin. Killing a cave yeah. angel, it does feel like you've done something um, that will get you punished. You know, it's like you've done <laughs> true, you've done true wrong. You will face karma for your actions. Yeah, yeah, unlike killing a loot bug. Because I'm not kidding when I say I do feel bad for killing cave angels because when I do it, there's no reason to do. There's just no reason to do it. I don't feel bad. Yeah. Obviously, killing loot bugs is a, is a mechanic. You realistically, you meant to kill them to get gold and nitro. Um, nitro is useful, gold is gold, and it's obviously useful for anyone who still has stuff to buy. Um, so I'm going to kill them. But yeah, cave angels, they are, cave angels specifically are nothing but a benefit. Silica harvesters can actually, sometimes you get like a group of them just like hovering over like a an uplink module or something. So okay, okay, I think you need to, I think you need to catch my pickaxe, baby. But yeah, yeah. Um, cave angels, they're they're just they're too nice. I can't do it. Because you shouldn't. You you literally shouldn't. Um, yeah. And You'll but maybe it makes off. me a bad person. I don't feel bad because I get loot from the loot bugs. Is that that's it? That's does that make it worse? It, 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 I think yeah. it does. <laughs> Morally <laughs> speaking. <laughs> yeah. Like, as long as it's for like monetary gain, you don't mind killing this cute little thing. Um, and that that is kind of kind of whack. But no, I mean, yeah, same thing. Is that uh, you know they wouldn't have added the loot bug into the game if they didn't want you killing it. Um, <laughs> like, like so, in the end, you're only you're only achieving your destiny of. Um, it is still this sort of this precious. Um, it's it it still this sort of precious, like iconic um, character from the game. Really, it's like um, Deep Rock's Pikachu, in a sense. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's lots of fan art of loot. There's a lot of fan art of loot bugs. They reference them often. You have the plushie. They sort of have this precious reputation. Yet we still just massacre them on mass. Um, <laughs> the thing is, there are some people who genuinely don't. Yeah. And I fear those people, to be honest. Um, I because th- I I fear them being a part of um humanity. They're too weak. <laughs> They're too. Yeah, if you can't even kill like a bunch of uh, ones and zeros uh, to help out your other ones and zeros, then I mean, well, I suppose it comes up the question of what what the worst thing you would do in a video game because there's a lot of things I wouldn't want to do. A lot of like, I mean, this, I don't really want to go down a rabbit hole, but there's a lot of criminal things I wouldn't want to do in a video game, even. Yeah, um, and I, I don't know about you, but killing like, is uh, the thing that gets a pass, isn't it? Killing and stealing yeah. are things that people enjoy doing in video games. Um, but not People... torturing, specifically not torturing things that aren't adults or aliens. Um, yeah. And then also, you know, any other type of crime. Like, like people... Yeah, like, well, there's lots of games where you can kill and steal, yet there is clearly, like, a good path, if you know what I mean. Like, like games like, like, where like, all you do that. is kill and steal. Um, from Oxys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But there's like there's like no obviously there's no story that like would hold you accountable and not many stories even bother doing that in games anyway, right? Uh, I think mean, like one of the few is like uh fucking Undertale, right? And that's it's like that was his whole gimmick basically is that like you actually you were judged for killing things, um, and it and it was also then because it was also playing on the fact that you know people naturally kill things in games. It's really weird that. We are so used to doing that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's just... It is kind of weird how, yeah, killing a innocent creature doesn't feel bad at all in Deep Rock, um, even though they clearly tried to make it so. And it worked for some people. Um, it's like, I feel of... like it's... Um, some of it is... I think some of it is role-playing, but it's also kind of weird role-playing, because I don't... Even though the dwarves express regret, I think... Um, in the, like canonically, I think they would all just kill loot bugs. Every loot bug they see, so, yeah. even though they express regret, so it, it's not really a role play thing. I think that people just built built soft. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I wonder what a pacifist mode would look really, like. Right? 
you know. I mean, I, I would, it, is it, there an argument for a pacifist difficulty? Like, like what? Uh, so there's has no a zero. Griffin. Yeah. Or they don't bother you. I would, I would, I'd actually like them to be there, but you actually, they don't bother you. And you can pet them. <laughs> Um, you can pet the. Uh, what, would, what would an elimination um, in pacifist mode look like? Zero cocoons. You just go there. Yeah, you, you just go. Well, that's essentially all the other stuff. It would be either. It's literally is just like creative mode. It would just allow you to just be in the cave and just reside for as long as you want. Because um, you wouldn't need ammo, so you know there's no time limit really. Um, but yeah, it would be a. Uh, I'd pl I'd play Refinery. Uh, that would be a pretty good April Fool's edition, wouldn't it? <laughs> like a uh, head of zero. Um, they said an April Fool's wait. edition where the loot box scream in agony when you kill them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, it's, it's just. Um, it's I like don't know how much that came through. I don't know how much of that came through. I didn't hear any of it. Um, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I'm sure they did. Um, I don't know. I'll keep note of that. But, it was at, um, about about just after fifteen minutes, so I'll look for that once we're done. Um, yeah, so that's nice. Like loot books, they they learn like you know how to mimic dwarven voice, and oh they're like, god. "No, stop! It's me, Carl." <laughs> As like, oh my god! Yeah. Imagine you, imagine you like you. They have like an echoey like voice coming from inside them. It's like. Let me out or something, and then you have to just yeah. you like rip it open. It's, a dwarf, it's eating a, dwarf, a a baby a baby dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. All like loot bugs are actually what like what happens to dwarves that are left behind. Like, uh -huh. They mutate um, and they slowly turn into a loot bug. Um, I suppose they I mean, share they are, they sort of half the dwarf right? instinct. Um, yeah. Uh, what kind of flesh? The white flesh? They're like green. They're like pale green white. Why? Then yeah, that's like the radiation kicking in. I, I, I guess. That's, what, they're, that's they're the They're mutated dwarves. Yeah. That's a horrible I, I, idea. That's horrifying. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, they don't, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't really say they share any of the dwarven instinct. I wouldn't say they're greedy. I think they just eat Minerals for some reason. Not. What kind of fucking adaptation is that? We have to eat minerals to survive. I mean, it's actually yeah. probably a defensive thing, isn't it? I mean, obviously, I, I, I know, I get why you don't, you don't just have things casually. Like, you don't have casual infighting. And obviously, you don't have infighting with the Griffiths themselves, obviously. But I mean, like, you don't have um, like the hostile species attacking the passive species, or you don't have the rivals fighting bugs because I, in the end it would just mean everything would end up dead and you wouldn't have anything to kill um but i feel like he's almost so, so you'll never see that in game but there could still be sort of law where maybe the rivals do have to attack glyphid kill glyphid sometimes even though i do like the idea actually that that what you see is law accurate with the rivals where they actually no. are meant to be a more peaceful corporation that actually is environmentally friendly somehow and that yeah, they don't, they don't actually bother the right. bugs. But with the rock Obviously, box. Also, you know, the bugs, wouldn't, the, the Griffins won't want to eat whatever the rivals are. They wouldn't want to eat that stuff. Yeah. Same with loot no, bugs. I can, though, see, I can see all of that making sense, but with the rock pox, it really throws a big-ass um, like wrench in the works. In that rock pox should not work with Griffins. It should be infecting them. And second of all, rivals should really want to fuck up Rockpox because if they do care about the Earth and want to you know, mine it out, Rockpox is as big a threat as Deep Rock classifies them as. Um, and I mean, there's not much passive creature can do around Rockpox, but I assume Rockpox would want to infest them. Like, Rockpox is just the natural enemy of everyone involved. Um, yeah. Which I, I think, I wish that was um, in any way made clear in playing the game. Um, in that they're actually any form of threat to everyone, but now they're, you know, they're barely a threat to anyone. I, you know, um, but, you know, I think it's still, it could be a really cool angle to, like, play up in a season later on, in that, like, you know, the rock pox just attacks everything. Um, well, and, like, they sort of naturally, 
it's sort of just naturally so far they've naturally gotten away with things not um in fighting because even the rock pox i think it's the idea that it is an effective mimic at least as far as the um well it's not even a mimic it's just as far as the glyphids are concerned um the infected ones are just them they don't see a difference i don't think i mean they can't see i don't really know how they feel about that but obviously they they can't really tell they're not smart enough to tell the difference between uh a, 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 one of their friends who is alive or dead because i think the rock pockets is just they just infest they, they kill and infect corpses and just like move them around um, which is pretty horrible i feel like the Griffiths just can't tell the difference so they just allow it um which is really dumb <laughs> <laughs> on the Griffiths part, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I, I could see why the Griffiths wouldn't attack Rockbox ones, but I, I, I don't know. I think it would be a, a pretty cool like, step up in their kind of placement in the game if they do actively attack and infect other Griffiths. Um, I feel like that's, that's like, something they still can excuse adding, even if it's not the focus yeah. of the season. Because even, especially if it's going to be kept to just the Praetorian and the and the Grunt, you only really have two enemies to take care of that it infects. Even, like, um, Slashers and Guards could just be converted into normal Grunts if they get infected. You could even do that. But to just make it a mechanic that just takes place in, in missions where Brock Pox is present, obviously. Um, yeah, because I'm surprised they didn't take. You know, I looked. You look at like the roadmap, the, the new roadmap. You have got the previous season outlined. It's like you got the the rock box infection as like a major feature, but it, it's really only a, a sort of a, a player affliction. Um, I wish there was some. Yeah. I do wish there was some kind of mechanic. They they didn't explore like any in, any part of that in particular, um, for, very thoroughly. What yeah. and it's still very much so bugging me that that roadmap is not uh, in officially published. <laughs> not... <laughs> and it should bug it, it should be bugging more people, frankly. Um, which is why I'm going to keep banging on about it because it, I think it's weird. Um, I think it's really weird, actually. <laughs> I think it's really, really odd. Um, I'm not concerned. I just don't see why it's not out there. Like there's no still Steam post about it. Anyway, sorry, uh, loot bugs. Um, actually, because ban- obviously management made that, um, you know, was doing a bloody good job at making a lot of more content than there is in season three. Uh, his uh, rock box mission type, the whole mission type that he made, is that is that dog on its own? Is it even a dog? It's like a badger. Um, but there was he he made a lot of new like rock box enemies as well, and they looked pretty much like perfect you know i mean the rock box grunt really isn't that complicated you know there's not much change in the detail of its body it's just it's actually just some colors swapped around with the blisters slapped on top so he he made like swarmers and um spitballers and loot bugs he made uh rock box loot bugs i mean i don't know what that i don't know what they're like i like i would like the idea of them because obviously it's like a reanimated dead creature it's actually the rock box is in control of it. Like the idea, it's just a loot bug that just goes towards you, and try- it doesn't actually attack you, but it just moves towards you and it tries to get you to like, you know, mine it. But that'll get you infected, you know. It's like this slow-moving snail that if touches you, it ends your life. It's just yeah, slowly snail. approaches you. What? Where is that supposed to start from? The snail. What? I think it just like, like spawns in randomly in the world. I think. Oh my god! So oh if god. your RNG is really bad, it can like spawn in on your head, and you're just fucking insta die. <laughs> yeah. The snail. I well, I guess the unknown horror is a bit like that, isn't it? Sort of. The, the unknown horror that, is kind yeah. of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 I think it's still surprising me there isn't any kind of um, was it like a loot bug anomaly? I mean, we thought that Golden Bugs was... Uh, I, I, now, I don't... This feels like it might be true. Because I, I remember us being confused about what Golden Bugs was, somehow. Even though when you play it, it's pretty obvious what it is. We, we used to think it had something to do with the Golden Loot Bugs. I think I don't think we we used to think all it was was that. I just thought... I, I just think we thought that it might they also include the Golden Loot Bug charts. Golden Loot Bug um, chance. As far as we know, none of no like warning or normally does act, does that kind of thing. Um, yeah, increases chances outside of the actual thing that it does. So, like, I, Mac Terra play doesn't actually increase Mac Terra spawn chances. It just increases. It just adds more Mac Terras. Um, both Mac Terra spawns. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, a loot bug anomaly. I mean, you don't need that when you just, if you if you're on a refinery mission. But that's a real thing. There are so many loot bugs on on site refining, and I I, I, yeah. I don't know why. I, I don't know what that's all about. Those. Do you think it fellas. actually was a purposeful decision? Because is there? Do, a, is there, do you though. ever do you ever not get enough nitro in those missions? Uh, like, well, is, is nitro ever an issue? Well, no, because of all the loot bugs. <laughs> so, well, yeah, like if you notice that the veins in in those missions are like kind of not bountiful. Maybe it is the fact that we're like, Shh, right, um, let's give, let's add some more nitro just by adding a fuck ton of loot bug. <laughs> just like, I don't know. Not a bad way to add nitro. Yeah, and it, it, it's either that or like. Yeah, it's either that or like it has weird law implications that loot bugs are like attracted to liquid morkite. Right? The liquid mor- they drink um, liquid morkite. Something. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, they should. Well, they should be crowded around like the the wells then, and then like you drop you drop the pump jack down, and it just crushes them all. <laughs> it's just, it's just there, at, like the watering hole, you know, because it's like it will be like the watering hole, and they're just all you know sipping from the the uh, oasis. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. uh, got the liquid morkite well, and then just this fucking pump jack just drops on all their heads and they explode. Oh, the the, the depravity of the good. dwarven machinery. Oh, loot bugs. Oh, I, I, this is, I feel like what's weird is the things that sort of are, um, aren't loot bugs but kind of look and feel like loot bugs. I feel like there's sort of two. You can sort of go either direction. Maggots. Look like loot bugs, and move like loot read bugs. Maggot's bestiary uh, page. I I am annoyed at the fact that that exists, but I'm aware. I mean, I knew it existed, but still, um, they are not a single entity. Oh yeah, I remember. They, yeah, sorry, they, I remember this maggots a collection of like something um, that slowly tries to get work its way up towards the surface, uh, and oh. that is just so weird. And so unnecessary because they're not maggots. That's like, the maggots kind of like that's con- the kind of just like funny like irrelevant law that they just yeah. put in because the maggots are irrelevant and they thought let's just let's just like say that they're fucking parasites or like just a symbiotic like colony of like mini yeah. micro creatures <laughs> just for no reason. To the surface to like absorb the sun's rays to like be- eat or something. I don't know. Like it is so fucking weird because I was like I was doing through them. And I was like, okay, maggot. So is this going to be another like larvae, right? Because that's what maggots are. Um, and then uh, I read it. I'm like, no, apparently not. Maggots are not maggots. They're just something else, um, which is very fucking weird. Um, but yeah, it's, it's funky as hell. But yeah, it's just, it just makes no sense. I'll tell you what Especially, I think it's weird about the maggots. It makes even less sense that there's like regional variants, considering yeah. they're not even like an actual animal. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Why is there a radioactive exclusion zone variant? Oh, I know why. I know why because there's quite there's a few different maggots for some reason. There's the base one, but then you've got the magma one. Obviously, the magma mag the maggot the magma. Um. Yeah. There's a toxic one, but the toxic one is actually for both fungus bulbs and the rad zone. Which so, but it's just a poison oh. cloud. But but the rad zone one doesn't produce radiation. It just that's dumb. And then you also have an Azure World one and a Hollow Bow one for some reason, but they don't do anything. They just felt like making them when they were making the, those biomes, I guess. And they look like they as well as the world one looks pretty cool actually. Yeah, see maggots are fucking weird as well. I mean, I guess um when it comes to uh Hoxie's biology, at least we know that maggots aren't baby loot bugs. Um Yeah. For sure. <laughs> There's something else yeah, entirely. That would have been a pretty good place to put them but yeah no I mean, loot box could have easily um, been that our adult maggots if the loot box didn't have eyes because of see well the maggots would have grown eyes like or, well they like, need or eyes because eyes they've all got eyes or... well, could you see the eyes of a maggot in no, real life no obviously not but no flies have quite a few eyes that's a good point that's a bloody good point yeah but real maggots aren't micro colonies they are no, single obviously. creatures <laughs> but that that would have that that was just a weird thing that they did. <laughs> I just mean in the in this maggot, the deep rock maggot, if it's made up of a bunch of mini life forms, 
they have a way of seeing. They wouldn't need to make eyes out of themselves to make the adult well, version itself see. I don't even think see. they need to see. I think they're just working their way all the way up to the surface. Well, it's honestly, just like it's kind of weird that, that, that it's kind of weird that the loot bugs do have eyes. To be honest, I mean, it's weird. I, the only thing, one of the things I have a problem with actually in terms of consistency is that some of the Macteras have eyes and some of them don't. Like, it's fine because like none of the Glyphids have eyes, um, and that's fine. Like. Shellbacks don't have eyes, they do have those feelers though, and it's things like that. But some of the Macteras do. The Grabber and the Loop, uh, the, the Goo Bomber both have eyes, and that um, that ain't right because the other ones don't. Um, unless that is actually just a bio biology thing, and they just haven't like grown eyes yet. I don't know. Well, yeah, a lot of people theorize about how like, you know Griffith that that like and tree always goes, wrong. right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, but no one really wonders the Mactera, right? Like, I think everyone just assumes that they're all just their own individual things, right? That they're just... <laughs> like, no one's like, oh, yeah, Grabbers are, like, an evolved version of the Swarm, or, like, yeah, Goo Bombers are an evolved version of, like, Brundles or some shit, right? No one bothers with any of that. They're just like, oh, yeah, they're all separate animals. Uh, they're all separate, like, you know, all part of Macterra, but they're all, like, different tree branches. Um, and everyone's just like, yeah, that's it, that'll do. Um, and they're pretty funky. I feel like they are, though. I feel like they are separate. Yeah, I agree, because it, it, it doesn't feel like they make any sense to, like, you know, come from each other, right? Um, like, obviously, uh, like, Spawn, uh, Brundle, and Trijor, they're just kind of, like, you know, they're just, the Trijor and Brundle are just the, um, like, alternate mutations of, uh, you know, Spawn. Right, I mean, yes. the same thing with the grunts. So that's pretty self-explanatory. But then, yeah, the goo bombers. I don't know. It's because like goo bombers are obviously like the Praetorians of the Macteras, but like yes. Praetorians look a lot like grunts, just like bigger grunts, right? But the yeah, goo bombers fair to do not look a lot like and do like anything really to do with like fucking, you know. I mean, they grow the weak point. So I, I think we can assume that they are probably a step up in evolution. Right, like, or they like the next level of something, like you know, like I don't know. Th they're assuming that the tankier they are, the kind of further through they are in yeah. in their like existence is the bold assumption the you can make. Um, but then yeah, there's just a fucking grabber that's just up to no good. Um, which <laughs> I think I think I think we probably because grabbers can pick up things any... and drop grabbers. Right, I like I don't. I like grabbers, actually. I don't mind grabbers as an enemy. They're, um, and they uh, actually, this is a thing you might not know. Their um, their like screech, their cry is automatically overrides everything else, so you could always hear it, um, no matter what. So you always know if there's a grabber nearby, um, which is a pretty cool, you know. No, I wouldn't even call that attention to detail. It's just a deliberate like mechanic choice, um, of how they yeah. work, but. You know, some enemies I do wish had like more attacks because you know not every enemy is is limited to one attack. But there are some that don't have more than one attack that, I sh that should. I think grabbers should like pick things up and try and drop them on your head, um, <laughs> like loot bugs. <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe. the problem with that is you know you don't get damaged by things falling on your head. Um, is the only problem with that. Um, well, yeah, I, I just think just of like you know do... eagles dropping tortoises on eagles' yeah. heads. Bald people's heads and killing them on impact. On, on um, bald people. That's how like a philosopher died back in like Greece times. A a bald eagle or just an eagle uh, dropped a turt uh, like a tortoise on his head uh, because he thought it was a shiny rock and it fucking killed him. Um, <laughs> he, he, yeah. Oh my god. Um, and... That. Uh, how do you know that's real? <laughs> well, I I don't know if it's inherently real. It was on horrible histories. Um, and sorry, else I yeah, saw. Yeah, I, I, yeah. No, it's horrible not histories is actually what I've been told. Well, no, I'm just saying horrible histories is actually quite trustworthy. <laughs> exactly, as far as we yeah. know, I... unless that was a bit, as... unless that was a lie. I, feel, I'm pretty. Well, no, I think no, I remember it. it. Wasn't... No, no, they didn't the claim that, well. did they? It, it is an actual legitimate thing. I think mean, if you look it up, it, it, it was an actual legitimate person, not just some random story where the only thing this person accomplished was having that death it was an actual person whose life came to an end with in that manner i'm pretty sure um so it was like he was already being recorded anyway because he was someone of some importance i think 
Um, yeah, that's then, what makes know. it a bit sus to me. <laughs> Point is, well, like, I, I, I like the idea. Sorry, yeah. I was just about, I like the idea of being able to pick pick up loot bugs ourselves. So I feel like people would want that, but only so that you can put them like in like Molly or like the <laughs> drop pod and have them be grinded up. I think there's a little peaceful version of that where you pick them up and like squeeze them, uh, rinse them like a like a like a lemon. Um, His eyes will bulge like, out. It's, yeah. it's like those things that you sque- like. You know, the yeah. balls, you know, the dress balls with like the net around them, and you squeeze it, and it makes it like, like it becomes like really yeah. plated in like very specific and areas. Like, so like his yeah, eyes bulge out. Eyes. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, they, they, that, actually, like, I, the I feel like, the, I feel like new bug lovers should really be um, clamoring for like the cleaning tools more because you can passively extract all the minerals now with uh, the litho foam, which I want to point out. Is dumb because that's exactly one of the things that the litho vac should be for, right? <laughs> and you could use it on like a loot bug or a hoarder to just suck out the minerals. Like yeah. seriously, or even I mean, I'd be I would. I mean, it goes even further. You should have to suck all like the like, the juice out of a Praetorian's ass or something <laughs> just to <laughs> deplete him of his toxic of his poison. <laughs> I think a vacuum mechanic as a weapon is definitely an option right well, they have, well like, yeah they have sort of that yeah well they, you know that's that's how they could reuse the that mechanic um, yeah i guess the litho like, foma comes from the sludge pump a little bit um so yeah i agree that that the litho vac should become something else um it could even be a, a modified litho vac a future weapon or, or tool yeah you know and it, it is literally it is like i don't know um it's just, it just yeah sucks enemies in, but like it also fears them. So like they they're like desperately trying to clamber away, but it like pulls them in closer. Um, and it's like it it will look kind of weird because it will be like they're running the opposite direction, but they'll technically be moving towards you. But I'm sure with that's how you make that work as well, because obviously we don't um, have the um we don't have like the living ragdoll thing. But you could have it that yeah. they just they're just like sliding backwards as they're trying to escape. That would literally be a pretty easy way of making it look realistic. <laughs> yeah, and then it would have like I don't know, it would have like a uh like the the point extraction like drill. Like not drill, but like you know the the can crushing thing that like, you see videos of. Yeah, it'll be like, like a, oh my god! So it would actually have like a crusher built into it. It would have like and a grinding into it. thing. That is and as, as they get close, like, they, I assume that they'll take like light damage, um, like on the way. But then yeah, once they get super close, it like does an obscene amount of damage and like armor breaks and everything. That's um, basically the ideal be, form of a, a um, but, uh, yeah, that's the ideal form of a, a driller, probably primary that uses wind. I think it would be the yeah. wind weapon. Um, you know, it's about like thunder because I don't want because I don't want um, it to be like a Tesla cannon or something. I feel like we're past that. Even though it would have been cool yeah. if the sludge pump was that, but it's not, and the sludge pump's great. I don't want enough like the next drill of prime weapon to just be you know electric. Um, I feel like most people probably don't either. Yeah, and I think it's still be very cool. Get a Tesla but... gun, it'd probably be like a secondary, like a little thing. Honestly, I, mean, drill, obviously... I would like it to drill a secondary, but I don't think he's going to get electricity. Yeah. Um, no, whatever. apparently that seems to be off the table for him. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, it was like the only status effect he doesn't really have access to now, right? Like, um, well, he doesn't have pheromones. Um, right, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have fire or ice either. Oh, okay, yeah. Or radiation, radiation, or radiation, neurotoxin. Or, no, or poison, or, or corrosion. Yeah. Definitely doesn't have That's any armor. He's got no armor breaking. I don't even know how you'd armor break on a. Is that a status effect? No. No. I mean, no, no, obviously not. It's not a status effect with a damage type. Because there's not. plenty of damage I mean, I don't. I'm just, I'm just mixing everyone else up. I know what I'm talking about. I'm just being cheeky. Right. Don't I'm just spread misinformation here. That's exactly uh, what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Me when don't, I spread don't... misinformation over the internet. <laughs> it's in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I am the yeah. Sorry, um, loot bugs. But yeah, obviously maggots. Maggots look like a downsized version of of loot bugs, but they're not. They're some weird other anomalous creature. But uh, what? But who really the hoarders don't like, look like? Uh, as, well, no, because no, they don't. Look, they're not. They're not bigger loot bugs. But they do. They they do kind of have the same kind of thing though. They're like meaty. They're like meaty sacks. Oh no no no! Because I agree. I I think um it it, it wouldn't even be um. 
a retcon, obviously, if they were made a part of the same species. This is a, a fantastic idea. Tyler's. It's a fantastic idea, I tell you, to all the naysayers. Um, basically, the um, naysayers. Um, well, because I don't, you know, we had something like the, the, the mobular thing was a bit different, or the mobular cave in Jewel, where we know the, the word mobular just comes from um, mobility. And we, we feel like it's not as much a species name as some other things. But like, Hooli, as far as we know, is a completely made up word, I think. Because yeah, um, the way I kind of realized it is that, like, most things have a pretty descriptive thing right and it, it is literally um i mean like i don't i don't really accept an example i mean i guess mactera mactera um being its name which means essentially nothing right it is just kind well, of i'm gonna say you did a good but job of picking those like, names glyphid Mac- right? and mactera sound like what they are they do a good job yeah 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 obviously Glyph- like it, it, a fantastic it, it, cornerstone like yeah, fictional yeah. name for a bug. It, it, it is those are like fictional names that are essentially meaningless, um, right? In that they they're just made up to be a, a, a family name, made, not like made up with no thought behind it, but just generally they don't mean anything. Meanwhile, the second one, which we are used to, is the thing which allows you to it is an actual word with actual meaning that allows you to gather information from it, um, like Glyphid Grunt because it's a grunt. Um, it is a little, little fucker. Uh, Glyphid Slasher, because it slashes. I like know. to think of it as it's, um, it's, uh, it's guard. I like um, to call it a descriptive name. It has like a species name yeah. and a descriptive name. But that that's like yeah, that's just like it, it, species name is the the meaningless one. But then it's like it's family. I think if it, that's the next one down or like yeah. But its actual name is then the useful one essentially. And that logic can be applied to a lot of things. Mactera, as mentioned, Grabber, uh, Goo Bomber. Those are descriptive. Mactera, essentially meaningless. Um, Huli, essentially meaningless. Hoarder, because it's a hoarder of that species. It hoards. It's, it's actually um, one of the few things in the other section that has... So this is going to sound weird. It's one of the few things in the, the other section that has a useless name. Yeah, um, um, I, I, I mean, this was on my my Reddit post, but yeah, there was. Um, I'm gonna. It's pretty gonna be a bit difficult to think of it off the top of my head, but yeah, there is Mobula um, Cave Angel because Mobula essentially meaningless um, Cave Angel fancy, uh, but you know, pretty descriptive, right? It's still descriptive. Uh, it's like still bit, like it doesn't tell you exactly what it does, like the grunt, but you know, it gets the point across. But then, uh, and you got like, <laughs> and it's a bit hexawing niffer is a bit iffy. Uh, Hexawing's a bit really, difficult. I, I mean, I um, think it's just the two. I think it's just the double barrel descriptive name. Yeah, and I it's think that's kind of the same wings. thing as spitball in infector. Um, I you can't yeah. really pinpoint either as being a family one, but also neither of them are inherently descriptive, right? Spitball I've got to, I've got to point out hexawing. Kind of, I don't know what you're looking at. I'm looking at the hex wing in the bestiary, and look, you can move around. It looks like a piece of rock pox. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> this guy is a little rock what? pox demon. The hex wing niffer. Not really. He just looks like an, a, a next level of like flea adaptation flea. in the Azul in the Azul world. Yeah, he looks like a festive flea um, that sort of just um uh, just uh, yeah, just into being world. nice. I wish it had a use. I mean, I don't mind him. And you do have the cave angels there as well, but I wish he did something. Yeah, it was cool that he kind of added to that stuff. But yeah, cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, then there and yeah, and, and there's Nobody some other things I think. Up. Like, but there's there's ones that don't have a family name and are just pure description. Cave leech, no family name there, just description. Cave leech, it's a, a leech on the cave in the cave, right? Um, Stabber vine. Well, Stabber vine Stabber belongs vine. to a group yeah. of. Organisms, but it's the only one that has a bestiary exactly. entry. As in, that if they expanded it to include things that aren't exclusively enemies, you would have a whole section for the, the vines. Um, yeah. Good, good work. Uh, yeah, and the, but they would have to name the vine um, to add a best, bestiary entry, which I would like them to do. Well, uh, it doesn't tech, have a name. The red vine. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking red vine, but yeah, either way, that's close enough. That's like, I mean, but yeah, um, the yeah. There's there's ones like that. Um, there's not that many. I mean, there's um, carnivorous lava, which is another one description. Both, but yeah, Huli hoarder species name, description name, family name, more personal description one, the useful part of it, and then the kind of pointless family name. 
basically, it has just as right as the Nyaka Trawler to have its own category. Um, because the Nyaka doesn't, it's only one in there. The Nyaka Trawler. Um, I mean, I, mean, I, 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 just, I have to sort sense, of, but... I, I, I think it's just the, well, I was about to say it's just the enemy thing, but it is because there's something going on where the only enemies that are in other are stationary. Um, so something going on there. Um, at the same time, I do believe that the honeycomb, the deep Torah honeycomb, has its own section before the the what like the the hollow bow wasps were added. So that kind of doesn't some of it doesn't really add up. I just I I hope what it means is when they were making certain things, like for example the trawler, they envisaged possible they had like up, you know cut other members of the species or something. Um, and that's possibly why it had its own section because it. There would have been a couple more, or there could be more in the future. Um, not that I want to see those. Honestly, looking at the trawler, it's actually pretty fucking grotesque. Um, yeah, it really is one of the most horrific things when you actually look at it. You don't get to look at it often. It looks like a. Big uh, I realize like, while I'm doing it, but honestly, with this, the trawler is so fleshy, right? It is just so like amalgamation, just yucky, icky, stucky that you could easily throw the cave leech in the same family right I, just yeah they definitely could be disgusting yeah. freshy uh grabby wank Grabbers, stains. yeah uh, yeah like that, that could be its own little clan that everyone would fucking hate plus i think nyaka cave reach um doesn't doesn't roll off her tongue too badly and no, obviously yeah, people wouldn't hear me say that like it would still just be called cave reach but it would just be in the nyaka family but yeah and this is the same thing. They which do have similar like claw and, and like spiky bits yeah. that come protrude from them as well. Yeah, I actually exactly. think that's a really not bad like suggest. Well, this is all just comes down to the idea of dissolving the other section, which will just really yeah. allow the fleshing out of certain enemies and make things feel more consistent and concise. Like, I mean, the big one, and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll like elaborate on this because it's the main like topic of the episode. But it's like the loot bugs yeah. being members of just the Huli um, species. Yeah. But I, I like things like spitballers becoming a uh, corlox even, and there's sort of just things like that um, that can be done um, yeah. over time. Um, but yeah, the, the loot bug thing, um, where obviously we know, obviously we know that maggots um, are not uh, loot bugs, <laughs> but they could yeah. be hoolie hoarders. Although I wouldn't say they're like um, a loot bug is like an early stage of a hoarder. I thought like it definitely would be different. It could be breaching. Part. I think it, it it comes down to what they eat. I think is my thing. Um, in the you know loot bugs, they specked into eating nitra and Spect gold. And I think I think first of all, I think. I don't know. It's well, the golden loot bug doesn't drop nitra, does it? It just no. drops a shit ton of gold. So yeah. yeah, you have the golden loot bug that just drops shit tons of gold. The uh, normal loot bug that just loot bug, um, which another thing is literally one word. I think it's one of the very few things that is just loot bug. Like I yeah. do not think many other. There's no other. Um, and the other ones have family. Well, I should so point he, out that Huli Huli loot bug boy. doesn't roll off the tongue to me, but that's not an argument, right? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying because yeah. actually, if you, you look at any of the um, if you look at any of the species like sections, um, they don't have Glyphid before their names. Yeah, you would have the Huli section, and you know you'd get rid of the Huli in the ho the Huli horde's name. Um, it would be under the hoodie section, and it would be you'd have the hoarder, you'd have the loot bug, and you'd have the golden loot bug. Yeah, um, but like in game, I think it things. would still be called exactly the same as it is right now. Like I do not want really think that it should be affecting current things, especially since you know, I mean, not that it changed it, but I thought people would get hissy fit if it started like having ramifications. But like you know, having the hoodie order still be called the hoodie order, and having the loot bug just literally still, even though it's in the hoodie family, would still just be called loot bug. Like in game, like that would just not need to change, but it would still just have cool, lore, interesting like placement with it being in the hoodie family, and it, it just makes sense. I think it's just nice and easy to categorize hoodie as and what like the wiki has them as like what was it beneficial creature right or critter, um, like yeah, like people already kind of recognize that hoodie hoarders and loot bugs are beneficial they're basically the well, yeah, same as far kind as i of saw those are the mechanic. only ones that have that um, um that that categorization in the yeah i mean like, i think that's are... in, i think that's like in code label because we don't actually because we what it is we don't see it so it must yeah. be just that but i think they're the only ones that have it it's those three um so they're incredibly similar um because not even the k-danger has that yeah 
Yeah, and I, I think mean, it's so just... You have something, uh, sorry, you have something like the Cave Cruiser, which is just another passive feature that can help you, but it just so happened to be a NATO site, and therefore it's in the NATO site family. So you just got lucky, basically. <laughs> you just got... Yeah, like, and I, I just, I don't know, it's just... It's, it's hard to be immersed into thinking about you know the 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 nature behind hoxies when there's an other category right it's so like against the whole like law of oh these are species and they're actual like you know they have like you know genomes and whatever right having a other section spits in the face of that um because there is no other section in real life right people didn't like sum up like oh you were like lions uh or you got the catus family we got like the the what was it i think it's the fella day actually i think um and then it's like the the canine and then other anything else they find from then on unless there's enough of them to warrant it it's other <laughs> just who gives a shit you know fuck them um and it's just Fuck dumb him, as that's hell. Why. Um, and apparently that was a controversial take, and I got downvoted into hell, and everyone fucking hated me, um, just because I wanted things to be in families, um, which uh, is why at this point in time I refuse to engage with the the Reddit anymore. The Reddit, I've, I've had it's the Reddit. <laughs> it's the Reddit. Yeah, yeah, that's but the Reddit is like most people. <laughs> it's, weird, like, it's where most of the community interaction occurs. Um, well, don't worry, I just remember you're, you're um, better than them. Fine. <laughs> yeah, well, no yeah. problem. I'm just waiting for them to, you know, do it. If, you I know, want to see a ship, flying they, loot bug. They, they would have seen it, and they would have, you know, if that you know, resonates with them, which I hope it does. Um, mm, then, I've know, got, we'll well, I mean, that. speaking of like, ideas that are too good for them not to do, actually, I can't do that now because I'm saving that. All right. <laughs> it was just a fucking fantastic idea that I jumped up like earlier today, and it's going to come up in the uh, the machine events episode when we when we do that. I thought like oh, we will. Listen. I feel like we should, uh, especially under under the context of a um that being like a just a we, 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 like, there is a lot we can say about machine events. You know that. So it's, it's okay to count yeah. that. And if you've got suggestions and ways it can be used as like a seasonal focus. But we're talking about the most important thing in the game, which is loot bugs, baby. Um, oh, what, what else is there about loot bugs? <laughs> yeah, there's not much left, though. Well, yeah, important. Well, I mean, but, it's a bug thing. Think, wait, we brought it up at the beginning, and I'm not sure how much more we can say about it. Um, it's, but I, it, I, it, it's just it's interesting. Loot bugs are, are are like they're not a remnant because it kind of still exists. But back absolutely then, absolutely not. They're still pushed to the forefront of like the game's iconography. They're still an iconic yeah, part yeah, of it. Yeah. They're like they're like in terms of imagery, they're like as just iconic as um, rock and stone is, as like a saying. Almost. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But I mean more like as a gameplay element. Um, it was a, it's a remnant of something they haven't really done as much recently. But back when the game was really like not like it, like you know the legacy edition, right? Like when there was like no fucking content, for some reason they still had like e uh, like error cubes, right? And like loot bugs and stuff like that. That like obviously this error cubes is a way more extreme version of it. But like things that really didn't need to be added to the game as early as it did. <laughs> like, no. well, bugs it... do not add a lot to the game, right? In in any real regard, like. You but that's get, why they're you, so you mechanically sound. My nature, but yeah, but it, but it is. They just are like you know what? We're gonna have a little cute creature that eats the minerals, and you can get them from killing it because they well, just actually, did hold that on. kind of stuff back then. Because <laughs> well, hold on, this is the thing. Because um. The reason why it's so it's like it's not a problem to me that a lot of these things haven't changed. There's room for expansion on certain areas, but when it comes to things like loot bugs and area cubes and whatnot, um, nothing about them is inherently flawed because they're just very simple and mechanically sound. Loot bugs are fine yeah. as they are. There's still um potential there, but I, I do take one issue with the loot bugs in that they don't actually eat minerals. Um, yeah, I, they I, really should. Yeah, I, I I kind of just wish that they did. And the um, thing is, is I don't blame them because back then they had far too many other things to do and they probably weren't capable of it. But it's one of those things, it's another one of those things where they should come back to it now 
while they're you know the biggest they've ever been the the team's fucking amazing and all stuff like that and just touch up old stuff just touch it up a little bit loot bugs they're pretty fucking fantastic but you know if there is um another loot bugs remains on the floor or just any other general unpicked up gold or nitro the loot bug will just go over so they're not aimless they're always just kind of going over to eat the, the little you know nuggets and they could, you know, eat veins, but I think that might be a step too far. Um, oh yeah, it would sorry, be I was fucking thinking hilarious. That, if you, if you sorry, that is what cave. I was thinking though, which is kind of weird. But I actually yeah. agree with you. Um, yeah, um, but I do think it would be really funny if a bit more, um, you know, difficult to code. But like, if when you go into a cave that, you, that you're at the very bottom of a cave or something, if there was like a group of five to six loot bugs. They're just sitting next to like a hole in the wall, just all like sitting there like full. <laughs> like, like they get like bigger if they eat more in this like, <laughs> in this you know version. Um, and they're just all sitting there like really bloated because they've just eaten like an entire vein of like nitro or gold. Like while you were doing the whole mission, so you get down there just to see they've eaten all your fucking minerals. <laughs> You're like, That's it. You stop beating the shit out of them. Um, but yeah, it would be funnier if they ate stuff like that. But I think, I don't know, it would be pretty cool. Because, like, can you imagine the community's reaction if they're just sitting there and someone notices that a loot bug's gone over to a bit of nitro they left on the floor, eating it, and moved on? Like, how fucking crazy... Me coming back to my pile to of nitro and it's been reduced from 40 chunks down to 20 chunks. <laughs> the yeah. loot bug's eating it all. <laughs> Oh, it's just all gone. <laughs> yeah. It's just you come back and it's just all like you're you're like mining gold on like pots of gold. And you've got a massive pile behind you, and it's just you turn around, it's just gone, and it's just it's this loot bug that's turned into a golden loot bug. It's just... so it would be so fucking amazing. That's, that's, if, that would if... be one of the best um uses of that mechanic is normal loot bugs becoming golden loot bugs because they're eating so much if they gold. They eat like enough gold, yeah, and it's, yeah, 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 they could have they not could that have would give them to, more. They just uh, literally if, if, oh, you know, a, a loot bug eats enough nitro, they become a nitro loot bug, and they become, well, yeah, like, I mean red. that's. What I was going to bring up actually, <laughs> I was going to bring the idea of nitro of um, those guys <laughs> of nitro yeah. loot bugs. The issue is whether or not they should exist. Clearly, clearly, yeah. I, I, but I think I think there's a very clear gaming reason, like a game mechanics reason, why that isn't a thing. Because a 50 gold doesn't matter, right? The mission's not any easier or harder because you've gained that gold. But if there was a, a loot bug that had a chance to give you like 40 nitra, that could radically change the difficulty of the mission. It would only work in the context yeah. of um, have, actually having them eat veins of yeah, if they just I do ate... think that uh, I do think that's too extreme of a change to make to like, the game. That would actually be a, a pretty significant foundational shift. Because um, loot bugs just eating loose minerals would not really change anything. I think it would just be a nice and, attention to detail no, that could be added. The thing is, I agree with you, but also I disagree with you. Because you could actually legitimately loot bug farm. If you were to it mine could, all your see, minerals Tyler, uh, could, with your inventory could... full and explosives and stuff like that, mm -hmm. um, you could actually legitimately leave loot bugs to clean up the room. And then you come back to them and kill them later, right? You could well, that's, actually that's why it actually that. works as like a, a mutator of some kind. It could even be a warning. I was thinking nominate at first, but hungry loot bugs. Maybe they're just not hungry most of the time, but sometimes there's a, a warning or anomaly. I don't know which one it would be. Because, you know, it could potentially be a bad thing. But an anomaly where they're just hungry now and they just start eating everything. <laughs> yeah, and I think, I think it, it's best said, because we haven't said it yet, but they would drop everything it eats right you're not going to lose gold or nitro oh, yeah, um, yeah. if you kill them though which i feel like that would be an interesting thing because the loot bug pacifists they're going to have to weigh the pros and cons because if a loot bug just ate their entire crassus detonator uh pocket they might, they might, they might you know they, they just turns into a giant bug. engorged golden loot bug and it can't move if it, the it land got, like, more and more gold and, and bigger and bigger the more it eats, which would be a very extreme thing to do. Um, it would be sick, though. Um, but yeah, that would be... Oh, but it would be sick, Tyler. It'd be throwing up gold on the floor. It would just be... It would, honestly, that would be so fucking... Uh, it, it would just be such a sick mechanic, but that is a bit far. But I, I do think a light feature of a loot bug... Just going over and eating any little like thing left on the floor, um, like you know, like that. Obviously, just to paint the picture, if anyone hasn't realised, when you mine something, your inventory is full. It drops on the floor, right? Or if you blow it up with explosives, that is what a loot bug would eat. Um, I think if mm. it just went over, eat that, move on, eat something else, move on, um, and then eventually, if you kill it, you get all that back. If you kill it, um, I think that is a perfectly reasonable thing 
to do to loot bugs to just bring them up a little bit. Just bring them up a little bit in well, like recently interacted with levels of gameplay. Um, I assume the implication is that they've already done the eating by the time you've got there. Right. Um, which is sure, why the introduction of, this... of a of some kind of anomaly to just disrupt that every now and then would be kind of nice. It wouldn't even have to, well, actually, it should be something that signified the fact that the loot box can stop eating everything. But I think maybe the chunks thing could be added as a just a, a, a passive function of the loot bugs. Um, yeah. But obviously, because like the vein, the thing of them eating veins should not just be added outright. But I want it, and I want it as an anomaly because <laughs> um, I think that'd be really yeah. funny. Because I think. That... And they could it even I don't know I don't know why though. they would eat more kite. What the hell would eat more kite? Actually, would, oh yeah, we have the idea about them drinking it. Oh, maybe they yeah. do. I don't know. What if there's like a mission uh, type? You have to well, what, what you have to? Oh, what? What? It, when you drive about more kite, if you kill a loot bug, it drops more kite. <laughs> it doesn't even <laughs> even in missions where you don't have the more kite mission. Uh, that would be that would be hilarious. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, there's. I guess no, there's hey, other I'm versions. Just trying to, trying to innovate Dark Morkai. Don't. Yeah, it's just yeah. <laughs> Don't try and get. Just get rid of it. Dark Morkai could just. They could just change what it does, and still call it Dark Morkai because they could still apply to Morkai. Um, but the problem is, it shouldn't apply to anything else. At the same time. It shouldn't, it shouldn't. Like, why shouldn't there be a beer that gives you more minerals when you have pots of gold existing? Um, I t yeah. It's, yeah. But then there's one that gives you more more kite, which helps you do the mission faster. That almost makes the least sense out of all of them. Um, yeah. Right. I mean, I was thinking, you know, a Dark more Crate rework would be a very difficult thing to do if you wanted it to carry over what it does. In that you would have to make a drink that essentially speeds up all activities right like mm. if you have that drink like uh i don't know the um director would move faster the re you would take less time to refuel and like the omra fight would go like a percentage quicker right that kind of thing like all of them would be like slightly quicker and like the caretaker fights the hacking would go quite slightly quicker the caretaker would have slightly less health like just shit like that like anything that takes time in the mission is just slightly reduced and it would be such a difficult thing to accurately convey and for people to understand and it really it would be such a difficult thing to add um yeah and it really comes down to the point that if you want to maintain dark war kite as a feature it's just don't. <laughs> don't. fucking don't. It is don't. so beyond redemption. Honestly, um, honestly, it, it could be a um a, a corporate issue beer. Yeah, I think that we. I uh, I don't know. I don't know. What that wouldn't be a problem do, at all. But it would just make make those yeah. missions even easier, I guess. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, honestly, builder's choice sounds kind of like a beer, doesn't it? Like a drink. Yeah, obviously that's the framework. I mean, I mean, the builder's I mean, choice that would be, you know, that, that's a pretty obvious one of what it would do. And that I, 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 I might, I'm surprised well, that perk or drink doesn't exist though. One that improves your like speed at which you build things, especially because you've got more things now like repairing um the rock crackers and whatnot. There's lots of things it could apply yeah. to. I'm surprised that's not a perk and so, drink. I, I, it, yeah, but the issue is I don't know the two specials. They're kind of weird in that they, they're supposed to be, and this is obviously ignoring Dark War Code, they're supposed to be like universally kind of helpful, but like they also clearly leaned more towards certain game modes or, and like certain missions and warnings and stuff. In the double, X, double XP, not double XP, fuck, uh, Pots of Gold obviously works well with, I guess, double XP, but uh, also, you know, uh, Gold does, Rush yeah. and stuff along those lines. Um, but it also, you know, you got like uh, uh, Tunnel Rat, which I either you could say either goes really well with or like that it works worse with um, low gravity. And I think that I is mean, a, it's just good a, for bigger, either way, bigger a caves. Yeah. Um, yeah, like they they are like or should be like universally useful, but like have moments where they're a lot, lot better. Right, because actually, you know, there's um. Well, they are. Know, the they are like the they are it. universally useful apart from um. Dark Morkite, and I will be able to dismantle yeah. any proposition you make of one that can't, because yeah, Rocky Mountain makes all terrain one hit. 
every biome has one hit um, has terrain that takes more than one hit. Um, Sandblast Corridor still has stuff sandblast? that work that it works on. That's what I'm saying. It's just not as useful. Right. It's just nowhere near as useful because their main terrain is one hit already. Yeah, um, I guess. But yeah, it's it, it, useful in multi missions. But it's, so it's, it, it it's the most. It's easily useful. the most specific one, isn't it? Obviously. Yeah, yeah and that's the only problem um, with it. it it's the only one. It, kind of no, because it is the only one that's going to be useful in one mission type. Um, it doesn't. That kind yeah. of specificity doesn't. Like the what the oneness doesn't apply to any other drink. Um, yeah, it's just it's the fact that sometimes it's they're one. better or worse. Turn yeah, next. like Be- backbreaker style is actually you know it's more useful in point extraction and also egg hunt, I guess. But you know, there's heavy objects in every mission. Um, potential. Actually, I don't know if that's true. When I think about it, let's take a biome like glacial strata. This. Not a 100% chance there's going to be heavy objects in every mission. You could always but... get a bitter gem. You could always get a bitter gem. Uh, I just mean it's not 100% gold, chance. Uh, compressed gold or an energy. It's not 100% yeah. chance, though. But the, the, the Dark Markite thing is specifically... The, the problem is specific to Dark Markite. It's just the one mission and no other usefulness. <laughs> it's just... It's very obvious that there's a problem with it. But I was only talking about this because... Um, Obviously, I, I like the idea of a uh, the, the builder's choice thing. You can perk or a drink. But obviously, we have it's a bug thing as a perk. I feel like a loot bug themed drink um, has some kind of potential because I, I feel like I always saw um, I always saw it's a bug thing as having uh, this other version of it that could exist. I like the idea of getting health from loot bugs or making them explode in a way where they actually deal damage as well. There's these other things yeah. could be done. Maybe you could add those loot bugs as well. You could add one that eats a trigger or an explosive one. Maybe eats um magma. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, don't know. I think first of all, uh, for the special drinks thing, I think we could easily do an entire podcast on that. And I think we oh, might, we will. Drinks. considering we yeah, do yeah. know there's yeah. a drink coming out. Absolutely. Um, that could be a speculation. And I think we just come up with a lot. Because even just... Just while talking, I'm just going to get this out of the way, just in case I, I forget later down the line. A drink that um, speeds up your flare um, cooldown, right? I mean, that's... That would be light. something, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would just yeah. make them brighter and, you know, the cooldown as well. Both, I think, probably. Yeah. Because um, I was thinking that, they, like, I was thinking, because, uh, I don't know, uh, Dark what? Morkite, I was thinking, oh, maybe maybe you could change it to, like, Light Morkite, and it makes the caves lighter, but there is that doesn't make much sense unless Walk it turns light. up your brightness. But, um, but yeah, just having it, like, cool, uh, you know, your cool down on things. I'm sure people will fucking love that. Well, right? I mean, the, the drinks don't tend to have, like, external, like, benefits, you know? Like, it would make more sense if it was actually a night vision drink, you know? Because that's, like, your yeah. senses being enhanced well, by, like, the, the drug that the drink no, is. No, no. It, it, it fits in because um, you know there is a drink that it speeds up your pickaxe cooldown, right? Um, and that is a cooldown but, based on. But weapon, I feel right? I feel like you could actually. You, I, okay, this might I might actually be reaching here. I, I think you, I think you're probably right, and they could just it, this is, might be an, another arbitrary barrier that could easily just break down, make whatever drinks they want. They can, but I just mean you could actually twist it, um, the twist the head cannon of it in that. The power attack is based on the, the dwarves like vitality or something. It just improves that aspect. Sure, of them. But even then, <laughs> how does the dwarf physically being built different make gold four times more valuable? Yeah, um, I was well. Uh, that's the thing. Those are the exceptions, and also <laughs> by being exceptions, they actually make that theory um, invalid. Invalid. Yeah. <laughs> Same with a drink, uh, making your pickaxe stronger with the um, uh, Rocky Mountain. <laughs> Sorry, I yeah, the drink things is is really vague, but I, I do think that um, there's a lot of potential in in special drinks, which is why I think if they're adding a beer, it could be a special beer. But either way, it's <laughs> not serious. And I think mean, we we still are, but definitely will still continue to fight for a special beer focus um, at some point. Um, like what they seem to be playing with this uh, with the perks rework and that special beers need something along those lines. Uh, it needs like mm. an overall you can touch up. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree. I, I agree. You can absolutely yeah. see the um. You know, obviously, a difference between those two things. Although, 
there is a, a more similarity between those two things than a lot of other mechanics. Um, you can yeah. see special beers as a, another form of perk. Although this is a completely different topic, and we only need to get six more minutes out of this episode before we're done with the loot bugs. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so just say something. What? Just like let's just like fire off like random loot bug variants. Because <laughs> like, was it your? Idea? Hold on. Someone had an idea for like an explosive mineral. Oh my god, it was me. That was the <laughs> Dystrom overclock. Remember? Yeah. One of them was explosive. And I came up with the idea of an explosive loot box. So like, well, what does it eat to become explosive? There needs to be some kind of explosive mineral that blows up when yeah. you mine it. <laughs> GOG Historian made a playlist for like all the Dystrom yes, stuff. Yes, I forgot to talk to you about video. this. Video. I, mean, yeah. I saw that. Was like, yeah. That, yeah that's, oh, that so you shared it to me, but we haven't cool. talked about it. Yeah, our video is yeah. in his playlist. Um... I'm, I am actually quite proud of that um, idea um, because, you know, I, I was a, it was definitely late, so fair on him for it not being in his video, obviously. Um, obviously, he still yeah. saw it, um, which is really cool. Um, but obviously, it was Dystrom overclocks like, for the Overclock Workshop, and that's why I was proud of it because it was very, spe- very specific to our channel, you know, in that it was an Overclock Workshop on Dystrom, <laughs> which I just thought was yeah. amazing. <laughs> Goofy, yeah, but uh, that's that's sick. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think loot bugs, Dystrom loot bugs. As much as I think the loot bug variant thing is is kind of funky, and the night charm would be kind of funky, I I think loot bugs are pretty cool in their simplicity, right? Which is, I think, why I think there should be a maggot variant for every bio because I think that's that's part of the maggot charm. It'll be so easy as Um, well. That's yeah, just one maggot, of the, that's one of the oversight things that they just ha- they do have oversights and uh, I'm very yeah. willing and I want to call them out on it. It's not even that I'm holding back in any way. I want to call them out on like certain oversights because I think there's very simple things they can do to make the game even better. Like the mag, cause it, the mag- obviously the mag would be extremely easy, but then you, they, there's no way for someone to notice. Just like hold on, why is like some maggots like spe- like have different like colors, but most of them are just the same. No one would like, pick up on that and like be like weirded out by that if they were just all different. And do you actually you do this kind of thing when you want to do it so that no one will notice? It's like um making a good UI, right? In a video game, yeah. people only notice the UI when it's like bad, you know. Um, unless it's like really insanely good, people won't comment on it if it's just like seamless and like well integrated. But you know, I noticed that there's inconsistency with the maggots. But if I was like a new player, I wouldn't notice anything about them if they were all just de- coloured a little bit differently. Although you would still probably notice that you have like the ones that explode, and obviously that's not in every biome. I mean, I wouldn't mind them all having an effect because there's no reason to kill maggots, but they could be if they all did like had a different effect. Um, they would actually be kind of neat, you know. So if you if you want to put more into it, go ahead. But just changing the color of the maggots in every biome is you no know, very good idea. Yeah. Um, it's so it would be so easy. They probably just literally just haven't thought of it because <laughs> if they did, they would probably do yeah. it. <laughs> and I know they do have like things more things to think about, and that's why oversights exist. But if they if yeah, we brought it to their attention, they would probably do it because it's just so damn simple. That, that, that's that's the thing though. Is that, that's what's somewhat fucking annoying. Is that like. And this this is starting to leave the whole loot bug thing and Don't uh, worry. Bit, <laughs> <laughs> leaving loot bugs. Uh, yeah, at this point. <laughs> but like it is a fact that if they didn't like decide your know, fuck it, rivals and rock pox, they would have been able to work on so many oversights in the game. Um and like fill up so many kind of holes that they've left behind and sort out so many things that are a little bit bare and all that stuff. But they decided no. We're going to add a ton of new things that are going to create a ton of new holes and lead and need a ton of things adding to them to fill them out, right? Because mm. it is a fact that we now think the rock box needs to be continued. There's more that needs to be done to the rock box to warrant it being in the game. Yet I also don't want them to do it anytime soon because I don't like the rock box, to be honest with you. Um but I still recognize that like them doing it now has merit or them doing it sooner rather than later has merit uh, because they should do it. There's a pretty visible, like, you know, lacking area. Um, but mm. like, it, it just, it really well, kind they're of not, They're not annoying. oblivious to this stuff, but it's kind of like the, you know, we, we just celebrated the 50th anniversary. Um, the game was, like, I don't know how actually, hold on, how old was it? It was like, I guess, actually, when you think about it, Seasons was only open, 
it when it was over three years in, but it wasn't like as far in as it sounds like. You know, when we we just celebrated five years, but season started before we got four years in. But still, I guess yeah. the point is they had been building and refining the foundation for so long that it's almost an argument. It's just like, well, we just got to stop with the foundation already. We got to stop building the foundation. We've been doing that forever. It's just, and I know that's yeah. And well, the foundation it's... is very strong, but it's not watertight. But I almost think they might be somewhat self-aware that it's not like complete, like one hundred percent airtight because it. But it could be. That's the thing. It could be. But they've been doing it for so long, and they hadn't got it one hundred percent. That it, it did make certain sense to just move on. Um, yeah, I think there is, just, I think that is I fair. Know. But not entirely. They could, I... shouldn't move on entirely. Yeah. And they haven't moved on entirely. It's just the rate at which these other oversights are addressed is very yeah. slow they now. Are, um, they are, like, halfing. They're, they're, like, they're, yeah. They're basically, they're, like, their main thing is new stuff with half of the other stuff being, like, filling in holes and sorting that kind of stuff out, right? And that is why that side, and this side is being, like, the other section and, uh, like, the, the weapons and grenades and that. Um, that side, as much as we didn't like the grenades, that side is the fucking juicy bit, to be honest with you. That stuff is the content we enjoy and like and is a, a, a good, valuable addition to the game. That's um, just, exactly. And... Stuff in that, obviously, like, oh, no, I did like the grenades, but I don't respect them as much as the addition, but I still, that no. is, that is still for those kind of additions, such as, such as grenades and weapons... Thing. Well, it's, it's additions like grenades and weapons that I always value, but it was much yeah. it's much harder to value something like the rock pox. But I'm always going to value additions like new weapons and grenades, and I'm always going to value additions that um, address pre-existing issues or oversights. And I just point out, something like loot bugs... Loot bugs aren't an oversight, like I said. There's an argument to be made about the other section and why it should be dissolved, but even that isn't an oversight. See, it's a it's a deliberate it's a deliberately existing section of the bestiary, and the loot bugs themselves yeah. are very simple, and there's a lot of potential there, but they also are mechanically sound. The loot bugs themselves don't represent an oversight, and there's not that there's not much that goes that far back. It doesn't. The oversights actually came up a little bit after, like the very beginning, obviously. I think certain things like. Like the um, beers, you know. I don't think the day, spe the day special went in right from the beginning. Yeah. Um, but the dark more like, is an oversight in terms of its validity as as part of the selection. I think I don't know when beers and that occurred, but from like around, I'm gonna assume I don't know the updates. Like probably update five to ten. Um, I don't know, between them starting around are. then. Um, uh, starting around them up until like twenty like five six i think that's the end game ones right they oh, added yeah, a lot of features and yeah. uh, they added a lot of features saying we're going to elaborate on this later right they like, or like we're gonna we're gonna continue with this this is gonna go further we're gonna add on to this and then they never did right they added so many features at a baseline level and then moved on to come back yeah. into a better day which is fine back then it was fine but now is the day that they should come back to it Mm. Right. Well, now yeah. I mean, something like that. Well, hold on, because this this sort of tells you how long certain things have been around, right? Because you mentioned update five. You started there. Well, update five is st we're still in um if we look at it, still in pre um release as in pre alpha. So this isn't even early access. Right. Update five released on released in August twenty seventeen, and it added it added right maggots, loot bugs, yeah. spitballers. <laughs> Um, it, it also added the um the cave vines and the and the um, the the bees. So I don't I didn't actually know the rad yeah. zone and the, the desert were in there at that point and the dreadnought. Um, <laughs> oh my, that was a pretty good update. Um, update five. Loot bugs and dreadnoughts being added at the same time is kind of wild. Um, but that was a very fucking funky coincidence. Then that, yeah, I mentioned the update that that loot bugs came out on, uh, mm, considering. Mm. That's you know what we're here to talk about. Uh, I don't obviously but, I don't know when golden yeah. bugs were added though. Probably at some point later, but like yeah, I think probably a bit after then. Then like it was basically once they had established their game because that was still establishing the game. I think um, so. That's that's it's not that early back, but that was them doing the actual foundation. What kind of game they want? What kind of things do they want in the game? That kind of thing. Job done. 
then they started developing it and like this was this was even more i think this was like because that back then were they that community driven like there wasn't that much of a community to drive them really, it wouldn't right? have been like, it wouldn't well actually it wouldn't have been until update 7 update 7 is alpha yeah. launch which is february 2018 after that point it would have shifted towards more community focus because then, yeah. it's, then it's available to the public but it's still in like pre-release um, before that, it was much more confined to like people like the you know pre alpha keys and stuff. Um, yeah. But then it sort of shifted to yeah, it would have been after that point. So you did have so, things yeah. like loot bugs and dreadnoughts in before, you know, with they started feed, feed, um, being fed by the community for like ideas and feedback. Yeah, and that was like yeah, and it's just things like that. It's like yeah, the perk system I think is obviously one that they see recognised that it it like twice now right they added it they, they came back to it but they didn't quite nail it and now they're coming back to it again right like that is a system that they seem to really recognize that they um they added it to the game and they didn't quite nail it and they came back to it and now they're doing it again yeah um but like you know they added the special drinks into the game and they didn't quite nail it um mostly you know it's a very glitched thing right like they are very glitched um um but you know, there's just I, kind I of can, fine so yeah. The thing about in. um, okay, the thing about all the special bits being like double their um, their effects being double what they say they are. That's like an that's like an oversight in terms of elaboration, right? Or in terms of explanation. As in, there's no yeah. reason for that to not be um, like what's said. The oversight is that it doesn't tell you that the actual truth. Um, that is the what what you're told is half the the, the stats the stat changes. Um, it should just yeah. be changed to say what it actually is, and it's kind of kind of weird that it doesn't. I I think because if you look at something like the mini gun though, where it's got like you know it's his ammo counter is actually double what it is, but that's as far as we know that is very very deliberate. Um, yeah. But same as Zukos. Does it, right? that really, yeah same as Zukos yes, but does that apply to the drinks as well? I don't, it can't do. Yeah, so. Or at least, if it does, it there's not a good. There's not a, as good of an argument there because it, it doesn't help yeah. people. And it, it right? really, it really feels like it's like um, a it's a lot more, union, it's a lot more dishonest kind of than the minigun thing. Oh yeah, the, yeah, for sure. They they like, legitimately they added it and then they couldn't go back to it. Like it feels like that. Like there is actually a physical wall of like code that no one knows how to touch. But they can change the text them though. from interact with it. Sure, probably, yeah. Which is why, but I feel like they need to. I feel like they feel like they would have to do more than that. And I want them um, to stop that, because, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but and then they're not wrong. But they, it, yeah, they should change the text now. Acknowledge that we're going to come back to this. Um, not right now because we're doing other things. But like in the next season or two, like something like that. Like it's it's on our to do list. And we will come back and we'll uh, sort out Dark Morkite. Like they'll name they'll name drop Dark Morkite and say, yeah, that shit's gonna we're gonna do something to that, and we're probably gonna add a couple more and maybe change up the system a little bit. Um, something like that. Boom. Like right, that that's it. That, you know, that, I mean, it doesn't even matter what they do actually for it at that point or when. Just knowing that it's it's gonna be addressed is enough. Uh, which is currently, you know, that's why we're pretty fucking hyped for the perk perk thing because that is that that is them saying. Mm. This has been not perfect for a while now. We've left it as is because we 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 prefer to do other stuff, right? Like they would rather get the guns out and the grenades out, which I think the grenades was a misstep, but you know it is what it is. Um, and you know they you know they're gonna work on perks eventually, but I feel like they would have done it already if they weren't having to do rivals and rock pops, right? But, but it's obviously it's the content not, they want to make. That, not that but, those. No, hold on. Not that I am gonna say that those were um amazing or anything but they should be i i'm what i, I think wouldn't go, go, to, go back to my point about them just having to move on from just building the foundation is that they had got to a point in development right they were still building on the foundation after 1.0 right because yeah. i'd say they're building it to up until the point season started and it was like they should be able to make they should be able to do what they want with the game now and as long as they don't forget certain things, and they don't, but obviously the rate at which um, older stuff gets addressed is going to slow is is slower now than it was, and that's just how it's going to yeah. be because I think they have excused being able to make the content that they want. I just want to make sure it is because Rockpox didn't particularly come across that way, and season two 
obviously didn't because they just they were just saddled with having to make more um, more weapons. So the actual theme yeah. was a bit of a um, a sidelined. So I want I want to I, I be sure that they are actually making what they want. To be honest, yeah. And but season I, I four that, definitely feels is... a bit more like that, especially them giving themselves more time. And that's also part yeah. of what makes it feel more classical. By the way, it's not like a they're not actually strict restricting themselves to a certain like a- it, actual schedule. They're bit, you know. Very... It is it is very true and very fair that that is that is that is that is, that is how the game is going to grow moving forward. I mean, we mentioned this, right? Like that half of the content, the rivals and the rock pops, that is the growing part of Deep Rock, right? That is them actively adding to the game in ways where new people will be able to jump on and enjoy it and mm-hmm. see it and interact with it, stuff like that. That is that new kind of content. But the other side, the more people you get, more, the more you know, chance there are of people noticing the, the cracks. Like the yeah. problems with the perk system, and that uh, is just, why, that, and that's why they can't ignore it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, and this is the important thing, and I think this is one of the main reasons why the 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 grenades are kind of as shitty as they are, because the rate is slowing down. They need to get it right. Yes. Right? That's exactly they right, and that to, is very fair. They need to not put the important stuff in the back burner. Obviously, as we mentioned, they're not doing perks now. It's fucking immaculate, right? It would be it. They would have. They, they would. It would be a waste. Like the perks wouldn't get done right if they did it now. So they they are waiting to do it in a time that they can do, which is more than fair. Plus, enemies in the normal pool is something that the game needs still, and so that is also a very welcome addition. Uh, the reason why um, I respect that decision so much more as well is because it's not like that's exactly what people were saying. It's just that's the obvious yeah. lesson from the feedback. It was people complaining about the enemies. It wasn't them saying, I wish we had more enemies than the normal pool. I'm not sure I ever saw that Reddit post. I think we probably said we probably said that, but I've never seen that yeah. post or that video saying we need more enemies in the pool. They just learned that lesson from the response to the enemies. And that's why I respect that decision so much. And especially with them moving the perks back further so they could actually um, put more effort into it. There's... That's, you know, that's like what you're talking about where that's why, and that's why I agree, agree with the grenades being a misstep is that when your, when your rate of production slows down in terms of like the frequency of updates, right? Because obviously yeah. there's no doubt they're working just as hard as normal or even more so, but um, you're right. They need to be more careful and decision-making is becoming more key. Uh, in fact, yeah. I'd argue season three was probably rushed considering how, I don't even, it doesn't, I'm not even sure they started working on it before summer. Um, and that means there was a summer yeah. break and then they came back and got it done before, like by November. That's actually well, quite you, quick. You've got to bear in mind that they, they gave us, they gave us the, um, the, uh, trailer, not trailer, I mean, the fucking, uh, you know, roadmap, like before then. Like they knew so early on, right? So early. What was it? Like a month? Yeah. After, it's almost like they decided um, too quick. Is that, isn't it? Yeah, it was like they, they. It was basically that, like, we're doing the weapons. We haven't done the grenades in a while. We're doing grenades, right? That was it. I think that was their train of thought, and I can't inherently disagree with that because there is a logic there. They have not done grenades in a very long time. Well, no, I, I don't um, think it was. I don't actually think it was um bad direction to go. At, at, actually, because uh, because um people would have started. I think people would have begun looking towards grenades if we hadn't got that roadmap telling people that they were going to get new grenades. If we didn't get that news, people would have been like, hmm, we've got all these new weapons, but honestly, the grenade selection is starting to be- become nothing. Like, as it, but that's yeah. the thing. People weren't really thinking about grenades, but they didn't do a great job at changing. That's what they should have changed. That's why it yeah. was a good I direction to go. Anything, but you needed at least two per class to make them like a really honestly, like, big addition. <laughs> I know? do think, if anything, them adding grenades pointed out that they needed more grenades and the yeah, grenades need more attention. Yeah, I actually 100% agree. I mean, that's basically yeah. what I was saying. <laughs> that's basically... Yeah, I know, yeah. But it, it, it literally, it was them, like, saying, like, okay, we're here to solve the grenade problem. And everyone was like, wait, there was a... There, well, yeah. I wouldn't have yeah. a grenade problem. They, they were like, there was a grenade problem? We didn't think about just, grenades I, I, I wasn't even thinking like, about them. Yeah. That's the problem. Uh, yeah. But and then, like, and then, like, and you're not actually like, adding that much to them, are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, they're like, here's the solution. And then, like, wait a minute. The, the the amount of grenades is still like less than you know the the loadouts we have right uh, which it used to be equal right three three mm. grenades three loadouts I'm shocked that we lived on three loadouts thinking about it now but here here we are um but yeah um we we've moved up to in all fairness six loadouts and I don't think we should ever have expected six grenades but um 
Is it six loadouts? Yeah, six. Could be yeah, eight. Six, six loadouts. Eight at least. Um, eight or ten. Yeah, I, I, I'm more than down for having more loadouts at this point. Um, I, um, want, I need more. I, I, I have capped, <laughs> In a couple I've cases. capped out like, I've my characters again. I, all of my characters, I do not think they need any more work put onto them. So therefore, I feel no reason to play the game since there's no there's no dwarf to customize. Um, but that's that's irrelevant. Uh, it's not really relevant. But the point is, yeah, is that we currently, yeah, we've got six classes and four grenades, which isn't bad, but it just would have been better if there was five grenades because you could still classify the grenade selection as lacking um and the issues that the grenades have weren't addressed as we mentioned and if anything was made worse as the previous podcast called mm. out all right well the, um, the, the thing is yeah. uh, are still overwhelmingly dominant on driller that that problem was not fixed i don't Prior sorry grenades, i'd like to point out a, a, hold on, a, a previous podcast you said the previous podcast <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. It wasn't uh, yeah. last week. Um, yeah. <laughs> like a month ago um, now. The Scout, I wouldn't say he's in a better state because instead of. It's been, um, it, actually, know, that's been the most a... interesting thing, though. That's, that's part of the most interesting yeah. discourse, though. Because, yeah. Because, you know, me being like an extremely high level player, I'm someone who never gave a shit about the cryo grenade. And honestly, the, the boomerang is easily my favorite Scout grenade to use. And yeah. I don't it, even think it's bad either. It started either, discourse between the scouts' grenades. So, wait, the, the driller isn't just as bad a grenade problem as ever. It's actually a worse grenade problem because you're either using the axes, which everyone should be and does, or you were using the Ripper, which is an active team killer, right? Like, G Driller is in a worse grenade problem. Scout is in a more aggressive grenade problem. Now they're two factions fighting each other, right? Um, Engineer has actually gotten a lot worse. He used to be very balanced, the sources between, but now Shredder drones have completely consumed uh, the Engineer player base. Everyone uses Shredder drones, and I don't blame them in any way, shape, or form. They're fucking immaculate, right? Gunner is the Gunner only one to come on. out of this relatively unharmed. But Gunner, even mains. Then, Gunner mains a chad. Even then, the latest grenade is still the most picked, but by a healthy margin. But yeah, Gunner is the only one that remained positively benefited from this new addition. Everyone else has actively been either worse Gunner style. or equal. Um, the grenade additions did not help grenades in any way, shape, or form. Um, no. And that is bad, considering how rarely we get those kind of additions, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You can't this, and that's exactly the problem, we, isn't it? We can't like... be getting it once every six months, and then it not deliver in what it should do, right? <laughs> like... Yes, yes. And um, there's not much more you can do with grenades, though, either. I don't exactly. want them to expand grenades out and give them, like, upgrade trees and whatnot. I want them to just stay as grenades, and that's what they're always going to be. They're just going to be a consumable that you can pick between a couple of different options, but it's always just going to be a consumable that you just throw out to form a specific function. It's the least part of your... Um, yeah, class out of all of the out of all of the um, tools. So you know, it actually highlighting and sparking off discourse is almost a bit of a bad thing because they're not going to come back to yeah. grenades. They, um, they look, I want to point out. Sorry, I do. I do want to point out because we know that the main focus of season four is just going to be adding new enemies. I I would not be that pissed off if they had more grenades as, as well. <laughs> Uh, they. Uh, I agree, but they're they're not. As long right? as it, as long as it's only a side, you know, it's like it just come. It just came up later on. They've got all their ideas down for new enemies, and they know exactly what they're doing. And it's like that's been a hundred percent prioritized. And then it just comes though, up later on, and it's just like we can the, quickly the get is, this done. Hundred percent. It, it is that is never a hundred percent prioritized though, right? Like that, it cannot be. The main seasonal content will take up fifty percent. So split it in half immediately, the attention given, split it in half. And then from that attention, you would have to then split it in half again between that and grenades. Well, no, right? that's the, I think that's the problem, though. I feel like grenades don't deserve 50% of the attention. Um, and they, and they never it, will. Exactly. Right? They don't, they 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 don't substantiate the line, like, it. They crack. <laughs> exactly. Like, Which is why they, they do kind of just need to be left alone. And that's that's probably why it was such a problem. that They were a major focus of a season. Because they were never, they never had enough enough depth to do that, which is why I wouldn't mind them being a side addition um, in a future season, maybe not season. Um, yeah, but on it, I, 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 I don't know. I, but it I does, think what it does represent a problem if it, if it has to stay as a major focus. I want them to, I want I them to be able to not 
put fifty percent into every yeah. like, each part. I, I think Harry. I think the thing is, is I uh, first of all, I really need to go to the toilet, um, like really bad. But I, I, I will say that uh, I think um, shit in hell. I, I can't actually concentrate. Um, basically, it makes sense if they were to start trying to balance them out season four like not adding any new ones but like maybe bringing the axes down to six or like trying to bring the axes down a notch and buff the other ones in certain regards like everyone nobody likes the neurotoxin buff that right uh sort out the scout discourse like and do all that stuff don't add new grenades but new new uh and grenades do still need attention and i think that's the healthiest best thing they can do as far as grenades concerned, uh, next season just slip as far it in as, in the as far as loot patches. bugs are concerned. That's exactly what needs to happen. Yeah, uh, and I, that was I, I'm down for wrapping it up episode. now. Yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. I am erupting for a piss. Um, Mate, uh, go, I'll, 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 I'll see them out. I'll, I'll walk all right, you'll, you'll see them out. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I, I will see you again uh, tomorrow, probably on the stream. So, yeah, don't worry, guys. I've got this. I'm not going anywhere. No, for real though, um, that, I mean, <laughs> what were we really going to get out of a loot bug episode? Obviously, there's some other more tantalizing things. We're going to talk about holiday events soon. We're going to talk about ghost ship publishing. We're going to talk about machine events and drinks. We've got a bunch of big topics lined up for upcoming podcasts. It's going to be a, it's going to be a wild ride. But in the meantime, thank you all for tuning in. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks for all like the support and just like, attention recently it's been fucking fantastic um you guys are the best everyone who watches us is the best certainly that almost felt like an insult i won't say who to either way thanks for watching um if you enjoyed this please make sure to like subscribe do all the other stuff um you the best take care see you next time